Apparently Alien Wars is done, and it's time to pick a new one. But before we do, it was close. Yeah. <laughs> it was all, you almost didn't double up Michael Cruz in the finals, David Lacey. Congratulations, Whoa. David Lacey and Goku. Thank you. Your name's on the set. Your it name's is. on the side already. Look at that. It's like yeah. a real thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very exciting. We're grown ass people. We can get our names on the side of things. <laughs> grown ass people. A landslide can do that. means that we can actually present you with the trophy. Uh, yeah. I know. I know. We didn't have to, like, shoot it look, late. Like, look, it might have not been close in votes, but it was close in spirit. I wouldn't call it a landslide. <laughs> no, I'd call it what, a landslide. What do you define there were as more spirit votes? Here. What do you define as landslide? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were more votes more like, than for that, that one than then most then others all combined. put together. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's because funny. they couldn't find the other one to no, vote that's for. There were no. No. It was at the top. It's for okay me, to lose, dude. For me, this actually restores my faith in our audience a little yeah. bit because if the alien from Aliens had won Alien Wars, <laughs> that would have been the yeah. biggest failure of imagination <laughs> I had ever heard. Yeah. Correct, but fine. <laughs> All right, so uh, moving on, if only for Cruz's sake, so we don't have to dwell on this for much longer. Okay. Let's go ahead and draw for the next topic. Anna, Anna, you're joining us this time. Go ahead, pick what we got. Okay, I, I'm bad at opening things. That's cool, they're really sticky. Yeah. Detectives. Detectives! Right. Now Detectives. you're speaking my language. Okay. None of this nerd sh. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> we could probably figure out how to get nerdy detectives. God damn it. Okay. Is Goku a detective? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so ground rules again. First of all, for the whole tournament, let's let's make it clear again. We're talking about theatrically released films here in America. Just the films, not the TV versions, not right. the book versions, the comic versions, none of that. Just theatrically released feature length films. But they don't have to be live action. But they don't have to be live action. Of course not. <laughs> they already find a loophole. Correct. Somebody's going with the great Goku. mouse detective. <laughs> I have another question. Sure. Say, say for example, you have a character who is in movies, who is also in books. Yeah. Let's say that can can your art or like the person you're op opposing has a character that was also in books. Can you use the fact that the movies ruined that character as an argument? Like it's, I don't feel well, like it's something well, that's no, going to come up very up specifically time. when he. No, no, no. It came up last time because like can't like could I have said. Zaffa Bibelbrox is a really cool character, but in, in the movie, he sucks. In the book, he was great, but in the movie, he sucks. Right, but then he couldn't start defending what happened right. in the book yeah. no. at all. Yeah. So no, so why like would you no. be able to use stuff from the book, but he wouldn't be able to? Okay. Um, so detectives, what, where are we drawing the line on detectives? What okay. about an investigative reporter? I feel like that's I think too that's Woodward and Bernstein. No, I, think that's I, think, I think that's You don't think that's kind of fair. Broad. That's investigating. We just defined it as somebody that. who's doing investigating. I mean, honestly, I'm like I'm inclined to allow that because like good luck. Eric Can I actually ask one question though? Uh, no, even because though, you don't even get to pick. <laughs> one. <laughs> like that, though, but like when it comes to like let's say Scooby Doo, do you have to pick one of them or the group? No, they come as a group. They're right? a detective. Okay. Group. As a group. So if yeah. there are like people that work together, that entity counts as one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think so. If they are a detective group that works in Okay, so like Sherlock and Watson. Yeah, if you well, did go Scooby-Doo, well, I don't know, that that, I don't know that you need to do that. You're going to pick Sherlock. Sucks. Yeah, I don't know why you'd pick both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Watson solves the Scooby, harder mysteries. The Scooby-Doo example, I think, is the best. Watson one. solves the Moriarty thing. That's not a group. Mm -hmm. That's that's two people who work together. <laughs> if you if you pick Sherlock, you get to bring Watson into it, yeah. I, think. I think. Like, so. if you yeah. pick Sherlock, I don't think anyone else gets to pick Watson. Yeah. Like, yeah. let's put right. it that way. Yeah. We're not doing... It's not... No, not doing spies... And not, not doing law enforcement that's not detectives. Yeah, they got to be close enough. Okay, so Dave. Yes. If you'll reach into your championship cup Whoa. and draw a name for us, please. I feel like uh, I feel like the Sorting Hat from Harry Potter. Rad. You, you, you are should. The hat. Thank you. All right. Oh my God. Anna! Yay. Okay. I feel like you, you are planning that. Into Cinefix yeah, welcome. Okay, I'm going with the world's greatest detective, Batman. No! Batman! Batman! Oh! Batman. It did not take long to get, go off the board there. Controversial. Damn it! Batman. World's greatest detective. The detective Comics. That one. Yeah. Okay. Clint. Oh! 
Uh, all right, well, I, I'm, I gotta, I I gotta go. Gonna pick. I gotta do it. We I'm going John McClane. John McClane. Nice. <laughs> see, we'll see right here. Oh, well, somebody's getting Just, cocky. Let's see. Wow, my first one's gonna be really good, apparently. All right, let's go with the next one, and it is Truly. Oh, man. Going up against Batman right out of the gate. Who do you got? You know what? If this is the game we're playing, I'm taking Axel Foley. Axel Foley! Oh! Yes. I was going to take something awesome, but no, I'm going to take a crowd pleaser, because that's obviously what we're doing here. Dear you say Axel Foley's not awesome. Look, I think he's great. Don't, don't fight his battle for you. You're that's up true. against him in the first round. I feel round. like you're already like... Christina. Oh, now, I really would like to make it across the, the, or past the first round at some point, but... I, I really have to pick Veronica Mars. Veronica Mars! Oh, that is a really good one! She was on my list. Yeah, that's a good one. She, she got, got a million dollars. Batman was on the top of my list. Uh, but isn't it based on... Isn't it based no, it's the... the no, oh, it's yeah, the... It's oh, just the one movie. It's canon, though, to the series. <laughs> Veronica Mars was high on my list. Veronica Mars was... That, that movie was released straight to... To iTunes, right? Uh, no, no, it was, no, it was in theaters. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. just a little bit, but <laughs> yeah. but enough. But enough. Enough. All right. Next person is T. See, this is interesting, because I, uh, of course, would have loved John McClane, but Clint right. loves him more, so I let him do that. And based on my sweater, you'd think that I would go with the dude. But I think I'm actually going to go the crowd pleaser out, because I had Ace Ventura on my list. Ace Ventura. Oh. That's, really good. That's, That's a good one for two. I don't think That's better, better than the two. He was, he was crowd like pleaser, and he's actually one. really good. This is Mark. Mark, are you good? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going with Marge Gunderson. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. Okay. Second pick was Elizabeth Salander. She was on oh. my list too. Yeah. And then I had. Really? Really? You, you had those two women above women. above uh, Clarice Starling. Yeah. Okay. They actually solve crimes. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> yeah. Clarice. All right. All right. Two more well, left. Two left. So let's go with Cruz. Uh, again. God damn it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> And I have to do this. I have to because he, he has to be in it. We can't not have Sherlock. It's yeah. the stuff. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. I can't Holmes. believe, Sherlock Holmes. I can't Sherlock believe Holmes. took this right. long. I know. I was I was dying because I didn't have another one after that. <laughs> Unless I went Nazis, I, I had nothing. Christina's. I know. Or Mark's. I am shocked. <laughs> so you got you have R D J Sherlock's to pull from, but also like tons and tons. I have Basil tons of Sherlock. Yeah, yeah. I even have a new Ian McKellen movie to watch. Yeah, where he's all like Alzheimer'd out. Though. Yeah. But that's not, that's not <laughs> out yet. That's not out yet. It's I think it's, yet. if it's out before I have to shoot that. It's it true. counts. We, okay, so next Wednesday, if it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, I, and then the last spot, I assume your name is still in there. Sure, I hope so. What would happen if it was somebody else's yep. name? That'd be weird. That'd be creepy, yeah. Uh, so who would be outstanding for Wild Card? I think Great Mouse Detective. That's what I was thinking. No. no? You would think so, because that was my first choice. It's just Sherlock Holmes knockoff. True. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we're missing Rick Deckard. Oh, Deckard. Yeah. We're missing Deckard. Lebowski. Virgil Tibbs. Deckard has a lot of fans. I would yeah. argue Tibbs, that, uh, Riggs and Murtaugh are a package yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Elizabeth Salander. Popeye Doyle. Popeye Doyle. Popeye Doyle was on my short list. Even though the movies suck, Eddie the Scooby Doo gang is Scooby-Doo. still up there. Eddie, Eddie Valiant would be a, would be a good one. Yeah. 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 Can I can I just? Lacey tried to get me to pick Johnny Utah. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. It would have been awesome. Oh, I should have picked. I, you guys, no, if you guys no, want to vote God. for Johnny Utah, you I will defend Johnny, Johnny Utah. Utah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that'd be amazing. <laughs> um, also, uh, Harry Callahan, nobody picked. Dirty, Dirty Harry, Harry guys. Yeah. Come on. There's a lot of good choices out there. <laughs> All right, everybody, let us know who the wild card is going to be. In the meantime, our Detective Wars bracket. Up first, we got Batman versus Axel Foley, the Beverly Hills cop. Then we got John McClane versus Veronica Mars. Ace Ventura Pet Detective versus Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> That's a good one. This is going to be great for me. Then we got Mars Gunderson from Fargo against your choice, the wild card, as defended by David Lacey. All right, everybody. Down in the comments below, leave your choice for the wild card. If you see your choice, try your best not to leave duplicates. If you see your choice, give that one a thumbs up. Uh, but let us know who Dave's going to uh, defend 
here in Detective Wars, and come back next time for the first uh, opening round matchups. Also, because we are currently in South by Southwest and not here at all, we're not going to do a roundtable this week, so we'll catch up again next week. Uh, in the meantime, click like and subscribe, and watch all the rest of the stuff on Cinefix. And thank you for voting this out of Alien Wars, by the way. That was pretty <laughs> rad. Yeah. Thanks, guys.